Hey, what's up? My name's Henry. I'm here to talk about traveling light, being light, thinking light, and acting light. I want to talk about my methodology on packing and also my words of wisdom regarding minimizing and downsizing the things that you do have that you know you're going to have to take all of you on your next trip. A lot of people leave this to the last minute, like literally the day beforehand. Sometimes they could be going away for six months. So that doesn't really give you a lot of time to think about what you actually need. So I suggest you start the packing procedure two weeks in advance. Find a space on your floor, on your landing, wherever. Get all your junk, throw it to that space, lay it out, and you can really look at the stuff you've put down originally and think about what you could take out. So that's the packing procedure. Get everything you want. Throw it on the floor, take out stuff you don't need, make that space nice and tidy so you know what you're going to take. How to downsize and minimize the things that you own. For me, I was going to take my computer, but I wasn't going to take my big computer at the time, which was 15 inch. So I invested in a smaller ultra book, which could still do the same processes that my bigger computer could do, but much smaller size. It was easy to carry around my backpack. Likewise, with my camera, I bought a Sony point and shoot, which I can fit in my pocket anywhere. This had the same video quality and specifications, if not better than my previous DSLR plus lenses. So you're going away for two weeks, six months, a year. You already know some of the key items that you're going to take. You like to read books, right? Instead of taking a bunch of books, buy a Kindle or an e-reader. I can read what I want, when I want, without carrying much at all. Instead of bringing your towel that you use in your house every day, which is quite fluffy and big, invest in a microfiber towel. I did have a bigger microfiber towel, but then I found this upstairs and it's just for hands, but this is enough for my body. So this is the towel I take with me now. You know, likewise with shampoo, I say you're in the big bottle, try and find these small bottles. Say you like to go outdoors, you're an adventurer, you like camping, find a retailer online that stocks super light camping supplies. So you get like a hammock, which compresses into your hand or a tent, which is super light, super small. So you just gotta think about what's your profession, what are your hobbies, what are the things you know you're gonna take and in months in advance, just figure out how you can downsize these items, minimize them, make them smaller and more portable. One last word of advice before I show you what I'm packing. Don't get a big rucksack. 30 liters maximum. If you start packing for more, you're going to be taking a lot of unnecessary shit. If you buy something like a souvenir, if you pick something up on the road that you like to use, adopt the rule of one in, one out. So you put something in your bag, you've got to take something out. And do that every time to minimize the amount of junk you start accumulating whilst you're traveling. There's nothing worse than traveling with a load of shit that you don't want to be carrying. Loose baggage. All right, now I'm going to show you what I'm packing. So yeah, when it comes down to it, this is everything I'm packing, more or less. When I'm in a different country, I might pick up some confectionery, spices, a little bit of food, so that might be in my pack also. But generally, this is everything I pack into my rucksack. I should have a bit of space in my rucksack still. So my 30 litre AquaQuest, completely submergible, waterproof, durable rucksack. This is my hiking shoes, casual shoes, everything shoes, canvas base, so they dry fast if they get wet and they're breathable in hot climates. I'll take some running shoes. I've got some barefoot running shoes here. Super minimalistic. Get these squeezed down right into the bottom of your rucksack. Hardly take up any room. I'll either have the shorts or the trousers in my bag at any one time and one on my body. Shorts I use for everything, likewise trousers, depends on the weather. Usually I take one t-shirt, maybe two, one vest and one long sleeve shirt. My waterproof packs down quite small, but it's also my coat. I've got my hammock with mosquito net attached and my jungle bag, sort of like a sleeping bag, but for hot climates. I wouldn't take this with me into a colder country. I might invest in something a bit better, but still the same size. Usually three pairs of socks, two pairs of pants. I've got one here, the other one I'm wearing. I swap and wash every day, made out of nylon and spandex. So cleans fast, dry fast, and doesn't smell too bad. I've got a random belt, which can come in handy. Bicycle pump, bicycle puncher repair kit. In case I'm cycling somewhere, or I'm using a bike, which I like to do in new countries. This is my day pack, really essential, really good. That's why I keep my camera in, which I'm using now. MacBook charger, my MacBook, a few cables, external hard drive inside, so it's quite small. My microphone, dead cat, windshield. Got my iPod shuffle, headphones, used for everything. iPod shuffle, used for music and learning languages. Recommend Michelle Thomas method. Little pouch I use for batteries and cables and whatnot. Got my wallet, padlock, water bottle, an adapter, USB charger, some coffee, lighter. Can't recommend baby wipes enough. These are great to travel with, keeps you clean. Shampoo, moisturizer, mosquito repellent, sunscreen, deodorant, earplugs, essential, an eye mask, toothpaste, it's my towel. Got my moleskin, I couldn't imagine traveling without one of these, something to write ideas and whatever. Put my mind onto paper. 
and of course my Kindle. Now I'm gonna pack it, see what it looks like when it's packed.